mm, mm, mm. Get ready, get ready. Spice is a way of life for this week's Chef on a Shoestring. At Aldea, his chic new Manhattan restaurant, George Mendez, takes traditional Portuguese fare and adds a taste of Spanish cuisine and serves it with a modern twist. For this week's Chef on a Shoestring, we challenged him to prepare a three-course meal for under 35 bucks. Can he do it? Oh yeah. Well, we are going to find out. Chef George Mendez, welcome. Thank you, Debbie. So glad to have you here. I'm glad and to it be smells here. good already. I hope so. So let's tell everybody what are we cooking today? So we got a lovely tomato bread salad with cilantro, uh, basil, and black olives. And then for our entree, we got a chicken rice with mussels, chorizo, and peas. Mm -hmm. And then for dessert, we got some summer peaches with uh, vanilla and cinnamon infused yogurt. This is a menu that we used to say in the South when I was gonna make you wanna slap your mama. Ooh. <laughs> It sounds so good. So let's start off with the salad. Yeah. Okay, so, so we've got the tomato bread salad. We've got what some we lovely uh, red ripe tomatoes here from uh, Seasonal Market here. We're gonna add some toasted country bread here. Okay. okay. Particular tomato type of tomato that's Beefsteak, red beefsteak tomatoes. Okay. okay, you add, let me stir, okay? Yep. I wanna help, I wanna help. Extra virgin olive oil here. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Some vinegar. Now, we're sort of at the end of the tomato season, right? The best season right now. This is the best yeah, time? Yeah, this is the best oh. time of the year. Nice and lusciously red and juicy and full of flavor. Okay. Some uh, coarse sea salt, some pepper, okay? And these look so red. Um, yeah. Do you want to be careful about how firm or how soft they you are? You want a nice, ripe, juicy tomato. That's where you got all the flavor from. Okay. Okay? And we got some cilantro going in here. How's some... my stirring? Keep going. <laughs> Good. Good, is this award-winning stir? Yeah, you got some nice, nice okay. action going in here. Right? Okay, all right. Then we got the uh, olives going in. Mm hmm And toss that up. That looks nice. Okay. Okay, and I'm and gonna let you plate it. All right. Because no, you're plating it. Come oh, on. It'll end up on the floor, George. No, you can do this. You can do it. Okay. Can I just nice pour it out? Center. You can do it as, however you want. Just put it on the plate. All right. Well, do it like this. I don't know who I'm channeling. <laughs> okay. I know so who you are. <laughs> So there you go. That. There Lovely. Go. Look how bright red and beautiful they are. That looks so good. I want to taste just a little bit of it. Please do. And as I'm tasting, let's move on to the main course. We got some uh, chicken thighs searing here and extra virgin olive oil, golden brown mm. on each side. Okay. So we started earlier. So flip those over. You know, it's almost okay. politically incorrect to use chicken thighs these days because it's dark meat. A lot of flavor in there because the bone in the center and they're nice. They, they hold their, their tenderness and flavor and juiciness while they're in the oven cooking with the rice. Mm -hmm. right? So you got these golden brown on each side. And they just taste good. Take them this out is of my the preferred cut, right. by the way. Awesome. So when I come okay. to Aldea, so serve me a chicken Yeah, we got a version with duck there. Okay. We got some onions going into the pan now. So you steer the thighs, took them out. I just yep. want to make sure our viewers are caught up. And now you're putting in onions and what? Some garlic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and these are all your aromatics, some fresh thyme, some bay leaf, and some parsley. Okay. Okay. And get that cooking. Now, if mm. you're a lazy chef, can you use dry It doesn't herbs? exist. No, no way. You can't no, be cooking. Got to cooking be is fresh. fun. It's, it's exciting. Can't it was be lazy. nice until I asked that question. And then it was like, <laughs> no, of course not. I am very nice. Yeah. Cool. I can be mean. All right. If I need to be. All right, so you get that cooked until nice and uh, translucent. Mm -hmm. To that, we're going to add the smoked paprika. Okay. This is the soul of the dish right here. Mm. Okay. Man, this smells so good. Oh, garlic. Just yeah. a little bit of garlic, okay? Not that yes. much. <laughs> Lonnie's over there stalking All right. the, the set. I'm gonna have now to we're going to add our chicken. our chicken goes back in now. Okay. Okay. So now we got the spices in there, we can put the birds back. That's right. Back. And now we got a nice chicken stock. Mm hmm. Now, is this a dish that uh, your mom or your grandmother cooked? Oh, when you were uh, mom, up? dad, my sister, this is what we ate almost every day. Almost every day. Three really? times a week was a rice dish, whether it was chicken or with rabbit or it was some kind of a fish. A lot of times mm -hmm. with shrimp and mussels. All right, so that we're going to let that cook for about eight minutes. Mm -hmm. To that, we're going to add uh, the rice. Okay. Okay. I'm using uh, white Uncle Ben's rice here. What I love about this is this is like, this is almost like soul food, comfort food. This is very comforting, yes. but you know, it's also year round, but this, this definitely is something you want to eat in the winter time in front of the fireplace. Okay, so once the rice cooks, right? then... Uh, that goes into the oven, a 350 degree oven. Mm -hmm. At the very end, we add mussels. Uh, oh, peas. the mussels, you can't yeah, forget the pieces, about that. Yeah, that goes at the very end of the cooking process, right? Mm -hmm. Peas, and then the chorizo. And then the chorizo. Right? And then. And then this yeah, is what we out have. Of the oven. This is what we have. Oh, look at that. So I always cook it without the cover because it's a nice crispiness around the edges. And how do you tell that when the mussels are done? They'll pop open. When they open and you don't up. Want to carry, you don't want to cook them farther than that because you want them to stay juicy. Okay. You don't want to dry them out. Couple seconds, we've got a beautiful peach dessert. Just tell us about it. Summer peaches, mm -hmm. vanilla and cinnamon infused yogurt. Okay. All right. 
That's oh. Cool. That, that sounds good. All right, so let's see how you did with the price, because this is a very sumptuous very meal. Very important, yeah. All right, so we have all of our ingredients here. Oh, yeah. To total is, look at that, $32.49. Oh. Uh, I think he's Way on the metal stand. Wait a second, it's going to be big news. Dollars. Oh, you're on the metal stand. Look, oh, look at that. Number two on the leaderboard. Paulie Brent, all right. That's George Smith, that's <laughs> congratulations. Good right. stuff, man. Great that was great. And Thank it didn't you. cost question, that much. The question is, is it slap your mama good, as you said? <laughs> yeah, that's right, slap your mama good. Let me see.